Grab your partner in wine and your glow sticks and head to Market Street for their 18th annual wine walk and weekend free of their fall concert series from 6 to 8.30 p.m. Because why not? As fall approaches, the Woodlands Township staff have their residents covered with their new Parks and Trails digital interactive map. With over 130 public parks and 23 dedicated pedestrian trails, the days of sifting through PDF files are over. Users can simply select a location to discover its photos and profile. Options range from playgrounds and courts to lawns for the perfect picnic and even splash pads for the kiddos. There is something for everyone and every occasion. Individuals in need of some fresh air can find the modernized feature online at the woodlandstownship.org slash parks. Reporting, Allison Spotswood, Channel 4 News. Today on News 4, a stabbing in this home on Bender's Landing Boulevard left three victims and a 24-year-old suspect at large at around 3 p.m. yesterday. The male was arrested at 10 o'clock this morning by a coordinated police response. Currently in holding at Montgomery County Jail, he has been charged with multiple felonies. The victims were conscious on scene, are at local hospitals, and there is no known motive at this time. I'm at the Chapel Hill Scarecrow Festival with my friend Betty here, and I'm about to go inside their old schoolhouse to talk to somebody who knows a little bit more about the history of Chapel Hill. Thanks for speaking with me, Betty. <laughs> why the Scarecrow Festival? Why, why do you choose to do this, and what does the money go towards? It originally started with the Blue Bonnet Festival that is in April. Um, it started as when we were acquiring our circulating library, which is over here on the next street. It was an event held so that the money raised could redo that library. Okay. Over the years, we've added the Scarecrow Festival, which is now in October. Um, money goes to the Historical Society. It's all, you know, keeping up the buildings, preserving history. This is an original school building. Um, Chapel Hill was once a bustling town. We have so much to offer. We do have a lot of Houston area people moving in, a lot of people from Austin moving in. So, I mean, we're a well-known city. Yes, that's it. That's yes. very good. This is Allison Spotswood reporting to you live from Scarecrow Central. Move it or lose it, that's what these fighters live by here at Rock Study Boxing Conroe, where individuals with varying conditions, including Parkinson's, work on boxing exercises to improve their strength, balance, and cognitive function. Let's go take a look. They need to be pushed, they need to have the camaraderie, and they need the consistency of exercising so they have a quality of life. We're 50 members strong. We don't have a high turnover because they feel the benefit of it. After about a month of returning to class twice a week, there's a drastic improvement in their quality of movement and balance. I've seen a real sense of community here today, and I wanted to ask you, how do you work to create that environment for your fighters? So one of the things as a part of their workout, we always start with a get to know you question. Um, they can be personal questions, they can just be fun questions. So then it breaks the ice, gets everyone talking. They need to start bonding with other people who understand what they're going through. And we're working on cheering each other on so they get to know each other. The more proactive you can be in the early stages of the diagnosis, the better off you're going to be um, with slowing down the progression of the disease. It's great. So you, you encourage them to kind of create their own events even too? Mm -hmm. Yes, we do. Well, actually, they kind of taken it, take it on themselves. They really enjoy getting together outside of class. There's not a lot of services or events out there for people living with Parkinson's. So we're just trying to grow and make it a community thing here. So, um, so they have a place to enjoy and feel comfortable and safe and just a place where, again, they can receive a variety of resources.